Hi guys, so in the last lesson we had a look at making a course, but now we're going to look at how to design a landing page. So this is my default profile page. It's pretty blank at the moment and to be honest looks a bit bland. So let's look at how to make that look nicer. So I'm going to go onto my account and click on admin and that will take me to the dashboard. And that will take me to the dashboard. So I'm going to click on site in the top bar here and then I'm going to go down to pages. And now I'm going to scroll all the way down to home page and press the edit button. So now as you can see we've got our home page again but now we've got lots of overlays to go and change lots of text. So let's change this to something a bit more relevant. So let's change this to something a little bit more relevant to my course and I'll do the same for my subheading. So the whole page builder is designed around blocks and elements. So as you can see here, these are all blocks. And they're just essentially snippets of code that have... An so blocks are predetermined sections within your website that you can just drag and drop from the blocks menu. So say for example, I wanted to add a contact form, I'd click on the contact box and I'd drag that down to where I wanted it to go. So I'll put that here for the moment. And then let's say I want that below my courses section. So I'll just press this arrow here and it will move it down. Here we go. And so my courses block has moved up and my contact blocks box has moved down here. Okay. So now I've added in my content, my contact us box. I now want to add in something else. So I'm going to go and have a look and I'm going to go for testimonials. So people who have seen my course know what it looks like. And then using the preview, I'm going to have a quick look and find one I like. I quite like this one. There's, there's four different testimonials, so I can get quite a few different things in there. And I'm just going to drop that here. So at the moment, these blocks are just using uh, placeholder text. So I'm going to have to change all of these. So just bear that in mind. So it might be a good idea to get into contact with some of your students and ask them for some. Now, I'm not really liking all this space in between this block and this block. So what I'm going to do is see where it says 100 pixels. I'm going to move the arrows and lift it up a little bit. And that way there's a sort of a nice small amount of space between the two without getting too ridiculous. And I'm going to do it the same at the bottom. And there we go. So that's how a, a block is formatted. Just to keep all that empty space there. Now if you're right at the bottom of your of my page, you're, I'm going to want to send you another call to action as you've read all my content. So I'm now going to add a call to action box that really gets your attention. So here we go, this is a different color. I'm gonna drag it in. Okay, and again, I'm gonna reduce the padding. And I'm going to type in something a bit more relevant to my course. And as you can see, it's really easy. You just click on what text you want to change and then you can change it. Uh, I'm not going to have a subheading, so I'm just gonna delete And as you can see, that's now gone. So, and here, given I've added a button, I need to change the link. So I'm going to go on to settings. And I'm gonna click on go to link. And so that's going to go to my register page. So I'm going to go back onto the dashboard where it's got all my pages. I'm going to find my register page, which is here. And I'm going to just copy the link. and paste it into the link box where I've picked go to link. And I'll get it to open in a new tab. And now say for example, I wanted to add a video as well, just to give everyone a nice idea of what my course entails. So videos are done slightly differently. So you need to pick an empty block. So I'm gonna drag that here cause I want it right at the top. I'm going to add a row. I want the video to be 100% uh, of the page. So I'm just gonna pick that. 
and then I'm going to click the plus button again and I'm going to click on videos and I'm going to upload a new video Given I've just uploaded this video, it's going to take a minute to get used to to upload fully and finish processing, which is pretty normal, even on YouTube and things like that. And then once again, I'm going to reduce the padding. So I'm going to just scroll up from that and pull up from there. And then just to make sure that I'm happy with everything, I'm going to press preview. I'm going to save and preview it. Now, this is where it asks me to add my SEO, so I'm going to just quickly ignore that because I will go over that into a, in a later lesson. Here we go, so here's the video I uploaded. There's the course, there's my testimonials, and let's just check that this button works. So I've, I've clicked to open it in a new tab. There we go, it's gone to my home page. And here's my contact box. So that's all done. And say for example, I wanted to add a tracking code for Google Analytics or Facebook Pixel. I would then click on this drop down arrow, click tracking code, and then I'd copy and paste my tracking codes into one of the three boxes here, depending on what code it is and what the instructions were for that specific analytics software. And then I'll just click on add. And there we go, that's done. And then I'll save that again. All my changes have been saved. And that's it. That's how to design a page course with Zenla. We'll do the next lesson on SEO. So until then, I will see you later.